Hello folks, LK back with another video here and today we're going to be using some Brasso to clean our old school NES video games. And shout out to my buddy Kurt for informing me about this method. For years, Nintendo has led us to believe that this and this are proper cleaning utensils for these relics of the past here. And who knows, you know, perhaps 30 years ago, maybe they were. Back when all we had to worry about cleaning was dust and a little bit of debris, stuff that you could otherwise wipe off with your fingertip if you could wedge it up in there. Drop a little alcohol on your applicator, do a little shimmy, and they were supposed to work as good as new. 30 years later, fast forward to present day, our problems are a little bit more persistent and they require a little extra attention. And that being the case, um, I hopped on eBay, ordered a few things, one of the most important things to pick up is a 3.8 security bit. This will open almost all those old school cartridges and for the few that you encounter that it won't, some of the really older cartridges, um, they're fitted with uh, some of the more traditional mini screws and for that uh, you'll want to get yourself a mini flathead here so you can open both types. And while you're at it, you might as well pick up a 4.5 security bit also. Oftentimes you'll find it is paired together with the 3.8. These slightly bigger bits will open the console itself. So definitely a handy tool to have lying around. And obviously you want to pick up a bottle of Brasso. This is old school metal polish. And it's the secret ingredient, if you will. Help us get all that nastiness off those pins inside the cartridge. You want to pick up a bottle of rubbing alcohol and want to get you a handful of these microfiber cloths. These are lint free and very easy to work with. And this whole process, I mean, it's not complicated at all if you have the right tools. Um, and again, I hopped up on eBay and I got everything for less than 20 bucks. So definitely a worthwhile investment. And let's crack this bad boy open here. And it just takes a matter of seconds to get these out. No big deal. take a look at the pens here you'll see a lot of uh, grime and otherwise nastiness built up over the years and even earlier when I was playing around with rubbing that applicator over them it did nothing I mean that's not even going to touch this stuff it takes nothing off so we'll start right here with our microfiber cloth we want to get a little bit of Brasso not that much at all just a little gloop here probably about that much and I just like to track it along the pens here and once we have just a little bit on basically we will knuckle grease it not a lot of elbow here it's all knuckle grease and this is the same type of movement as uh, they recommend with that applicator so I mean it's really it's pretty much the same thing and as you can see, I mean, it's already gone. And from here, what I like to do, just because I've read a few things about Brasso possibly leaving a little bit of film behind over time, um, you want to dab a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then go over the same track here. And this is not one of the more dirtier games that I've seen, but uh, you get the idea. I didn't really have to bear into it at all there. We're going to take a little dry spot and we'll go through and just dry it off here. No problem. And get to the other side. We're going to do the exact same thing. Start with a little bit of Brasso. Once again, does not take much at all. It's really easy to use too much. And if you do, you'll have a little mess to clean up. Not a big deal either way, but uh, you want to save yourself as much time as possible, especially if you have an extensive library to do. Uh, and I've been working at this for a while now. After cleaning about 60 or 70 of these things, it uh, definitely feels like I'm on autopilot. And again, it's as simple as that. And I'm not sure how well you can see it, but uh, 
if the camera picks that up here, here's uh, just an idea of the type of crap that we just scrubbed off of there. And this is why your games hardly ever work. <laughs> Apply a little bit of alcohol here. just as before. Get a dry spot and we'll dry it off. And just like that, that bad boy is as good as new. Brasso definitely does the trick. It's exactly how those pins look the day they rolled off the line. And with that, we'll set the board aside here. And we'll take a look at this lower compartment here that actually houses the connector pins. And it's not really all that bad, but we've, we've got a little bit of smudge here. Not really anything significant, but while we have the cartridge open, we'll dab a little bit of alcohol and we'll rub this area off here as well. And the same for this other piece, once again. Just a little bit of stuff here. I mean, really, this is actually one of the better kept games. I believe I've had this game in my possession since it was bought new. This is uh, something I got for my birthday one year, like way back in the day. Definitely looking much better now. And we'll go ahead and drop it back in here. And reapply the back cover. Drop these screws back in. And when you're screwing them back in, you don't want to apply too much force. Just screw them in until they get snug. As soon as you fill it, kind of tighten up a little bit, you're good to go. There's no need whatsoever to uh, over tighten them. And that's it. This baby's all done and it gets added to the clean pile. And I only have a few more to do. Actually, uh, while we're still rolling here, this is a good time. I think this is, uh, yeah, this is actually a good example of one that uh, has the more traditional screws. If you get in close there, I'm not sure if you can, if you can make it out, but this is uh, little mini flathead screws. And this is why you want to pick up a mini flathead screwdriver. Once in a great while on these older games, you'll notice you'll run into this. And this is where the security bit actually won't help you. And once in a while, guys, you'll encounter these games that, um, you know, I have a few games that were originally uh, bought from rental stores that were going out of business. Those were in some piss poor shape, let me tell you. Uh, sometimes the corrosion is so bad that Brasso can't completely save it. If it begins to eat through the pins itself, um, go ahead and clean off what you can. And you may be able to still salvage the game and uh, it may still work for you, but there's, there's never a guarantee when it's gotten to that point. But uh, my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, that's got to be one of the worst boards I've seen um, in my entire collection. And not even Brasso could completely rid all the crap off of that one because some of the damage by then was permanent. But for the pieces of it that I could clean and that I could restore and get back to uh, you know the best possible condition that I could, uh, it was enough and the game actually still plays. So take it for what you will. This is what Brasso can do. This will restore those pins to complete working order. And back in the days when Nintendo told us not to blow in our games, you're actually seeing some of the results as to why because with the moisture that's in our breath when we talk or try to blow on something or whatever over the years um, as the metal picks up that moisture and it's exposed to air it can corrode and in most cases it will as time goes by so Nintendo was not uh, necessarily blowing smoke when they told us not to blow in our games but as kids uh, we knew it as the method that would work and so we did it and fortunately now, all these years later, the, uh, the damage has, uh, has not been permanent on any of the games that I've personally owned for that amount of time. But with that being said, 
probably shouldn't do it if you could avoid it. And we'll add another clean one to the stack. And that's really about it. Not a whole lot to it, really. Again, if you have the right tools, this is a very simple process. It's definitely worth taking the time to do. Preserve those memories. Uh, if you guys want to give this a shot, let me know how it works. And for now, let's try one out and see how we did. Thank <laughs> you. 